Welcome. I am Sarah Melby, Director of Information and Research on the HERO team, and I'm very happy to welcome you to our Winter 2018 ACCE eTour. During this webinar, we will have an overview of the many benefits and resources we have on our ACCE website, plus many of our in-person networking and information resources. With me today is Susan McGuire, Manager of Professional Development and Programs here at ACCE. And we are both pleased to be here with you today for this e-tour. Before we begin, I have just a few housekeeping items. First, all attendees are in listen-only mode during the webinar to avoid background noise. If you have a question, please use the question function in this webinar panel. Second, we will have some time for questions at the end of the webinar, and you can use the question function within the webinar panel. The question box is in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. So you can just type in your question and we will see them, repeat the question aloud and provide an answer. And that will be towards the end of the presentation. If we run out of time to answer all of your questions during the webinar, we will follow up individually after the webinar is over and uh, respond by email. Third, this webinar is being recorded and should be up on the ACCE website under professional development within the next day or so, along with a link to our Fast Facts Guide. You can also download uh, the Fast Facts Guide, which should be in our webinar panel, and all you have to do then today is sit back, watch, and listen. So let's begin the tour. I'd like to begin by giving you a roadmap of the ACCE website, starting with the basics such as how to log into the site, and review and update your membership information. And then we'll go on to talk a little bit more about ACCE's information resources, networking and professional development. So first we're gonna start with the homepage, acce.org. Um, within this uh, website, we have five different categories of information about professional development, networks, information and fringe benefits. We also have a login section up here and my account where you have access to more information about your membership. So under about, this is where you will go to get information about ACCE staff, our board, our history, our location, and other basic information. Under professional development, which Susan will be talking about, um, we have access to all of the resources on convention and ACCE University. Networks, Susan will also cover that, and there's a wealth of opportunities to uh, network with your peers here through peer groups and divisions. And then I will talk about information, the HERO portal, help expertise resources online, and then we'll also share information about ACCE's fringe, fringe benefits. So back to our homepage, it is frequently updated, and you can see that through different panels on the homepage. Um, with news you can use, different blog postings, plus our Spotlight news. This is Spotlight, this is the general blog. And then if you scroll down further on the website, you can see additional upcoming events. You can click on this tab for more events to view. And um, if you click all the way or scroll all the way down our website, you'll see our official corporate sponsors as well as uh, contact information here. So we're going to begin by showing you the login information here at the top of the home page, and it's also on every web page within our site. And this is um, our the basic login info. So uh, we like to start by saying that the login uh, provides you access to ACCE's information, research, dynamic chamber benchmarking, the surveys, uh, numerous resources, and benefits. So this is a really good place to start you will uh, enter your username and password. And if you don't know your username and password, you can click here to recall it. Um, you can also email us at ask um, ACCE um, here, which is hero, H-E-R-O at A-C-C-E dot org. So each one of your staff members should have his or her own username and password. And again, you can recall it from here. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Um, and you can also see that you've logged in here at the top of the screen. And then once you've logged in, you have access to my account, which is sometimes called menu from different pages in our website. So this gives you access to information about courses that you've purchased and online publications that you've purchased, events that you've registered for, 
um, your email subscribe and unsubscribe options, as well as information on your membership, including your login and how to change your login. Um, you can also access dynamic chamber benchmarking in the surveys right from here, as well as from our information section, which we'll go over in more detail. Um, you can update your chamber staff information, your staff roster, and then you can also find more networking options, such as customized networking lists um, to help you reach other chamber peers. So for those of you who have organization admin access, you can um, keep your staff roster up to date using the Update My Chamber Staff option right here. So CEOs are automatically set up as org admins, but if you're not the CEO and someone on your staff would like to be added as org admin, you can just let us know. Use that Ask ACCE button at the bottom. Um, it's also under information here at the top, or you can simply email hero, H-E-R-O, at acce.org. And once the staff roster is updated by you as the CEO or the org admin, our system automatically sends out a welcome email with your staff individual login information. So there's much more here, um, and we'd like to invite you to review this a little bit more in detail. But we are also going to show you the membership uh, option here. This button provides you access to update your personal information and then also change your username and password. So um, you can view your, uh, your login information there. Um, and then you can also update your personal information here. Personal information includes contact information, as well as mentorship options, and then professional interest areas. We like to point out all the different areas of interest, which include some of our divisions. Um, if you sign up for any and all of these areas of interest, you will receive notifications from ACCE on um, e-newsletters, webinars, professional development opportunities, convention tracks, and more. So now I'm going to go back to the home page here, and I want to make sure you know how to contact us. There are a number of ways. And I mentioned at the very beginning that you can reach us through About and our staff directory here. Um, so you have our staff listing here. And you can get in touch with any of us on staff here at ACCE. You can click on an email uh, name, which gives you the email address, view our titles, or have a phone number. Um, you can also access um, information about ACCE's board of directors and contact board of directors and view our inclusion statement, our history, our strategic plan as well. Um, you can also view information about your membership here, and this includes information about joining ACCE, as well as information about the Horizon investors and um, all access pass options for your ACCE membership. Um, let's see here. We also have our membership uh, directory as well as our affiliates. So you can view numbers of different information under the About section of our website. And I'll click back on the home page here. Um, if you have any questions about uh, ACCE or your membership, feel free again to use the Ask ACCE option uh, with this which is here in their information, as well as down at the bottom of the website. So we're gonna to transition to talk about um, ACCE's networks, and I'd like to introduce you to Susan McGuire. She is our Manager of Professional Development and Programs, and uh, take it away, Susan. All right, well, thank you so much, Sarah, and welcome, everyone. I am going to take you on a quick tour of our member directories and networks, and uh, Sarah and I would be happy to answer any questions you might have either at the end of the webinar or afterwards um, anytime. So let's start with our member directory. Within the member directory, you can search for individual members or chambers, and you can email members to the directory as well. We also have a separate business directory where you'll find our official corporate sponsors, as well as business members and consultants who serve our industry. Additionally, some offer affinity programs designed to generate non-dues revenue, and many of them exhibit during our annual convention, which will take place this year in July in Des Moines. And we'll be talking about our convention a little bit later in the e-tour. 
So let's take a look at our networks. Uh, we want to extend an invitation to you to join our networks, and we're really looking forward to connecting you with your peers. Uh, first, our community peer groups are specifically designed for CEOs to build peer relationships within groups that are organized by community type and size. With in-person meetings and exclusive online networks, our peer groups are lively sources of emerging trends and innovative work being done, and we welcome your involvement. You can view the roster for each one of our peer groups through the link provided, and you can also email and individually directly through the roster as well. So let's now take a look at divisions. Divisions are open to everyone and are truly your home base. They're organized by job function, as you can see, and they help connect you with your closest counter counterparts. To join a specific division, you can just follow the link shown on each division page to sign up, or you can also sign up through your account under the heading My Membership and then Update Personal Information, and then you'll edit your professional interest areas, as you saw earlier. Once you join, you'll receive e news specific to that particular division, invitations to webinars on related topics, and also invitations to scheduled division conference calls. We have a wide variety of divisions available, and we welcome you to connect with peers who also share common interests with you. In addition to our divisions and peer groups, we've also set up presence, a presence on many social networking websites. Our online forums, answers, and connections are just a click away. We have several group channels on LinkedIn, and we hope you'll join, join one or more of our groups. Uh, some of our divisions have their own LinkedIn groups, which you'll find within the individual division pages. There are thousands connected to our LinkedIn groups with great discussions and networking to engage in. Our main group, as well as our membership and communications forums, are the largest and most active Q&A platforms in our industry. We also have a page on Facebook and an ACCE YouTube channel, and you can follow ACC updates by clicking the Twitter icon in the footer of our web pages. Finally, you can follow ACCE's blog from the website homepage. Uh, just click on ACCE blog, um, which is on the lower right-hand corner, or you can click on the special feature hashtag ACCE spotlight. Um, for current posts with great chamber models and news you can use. So if you're not already part of a networking group, we invite you to join in the conversations. We also really want to thank everyone already participating for the contributions that you make and the valuable expertise you're sharing. So now I'm going to switch gears and I'm going to focus on a few aspects of our professional development programming. I'm going to cover a lot of ground, but again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me after the webinar. Uh, first, I'll say a few words about our online education program, which is called ACC University Online. ACC University Online includes online e-courses, recorded convention and other training workshops, and webinars. You can access all of these offerings most easily by clicking on Professional Development at the top of any website page and then on ACC University Online. You can find the e-courses here. Uh, these are online courses taught by respected chamber members and educators. Click on any of the courses to find a more complete description and purchase them if you would like. You can stop and start ACC eCourses at any time and view them as many times as you like and you or anyone on your staff can access them. Included in our eCourses are our recorded convention and other training sessions. Convention tracks and individual recorded workshops are available along with selected individual sessions from our conventions since 2014 and this includes the 2017 Nashville Convention. Our e-courses, including our recorded convention workshops, are offered for a fee that varies according to your membership type. You'll need your username and password to purchase them. Note that if you've purchased an ACC All Access Pass, the e-courses, including the workshop convention workshops, are included within the pass, and they are also included within the Horizon Investor Benefits. So in these two cases, you or anyone in your chamber will be able to access them for no additional fee. Uh, otherwise, the sessions are offered at great prices. For instance, we have a really popular 60 membership ideas and 60-minute session from 2016 and also 2017, 
and a 60 sponsorship idea session also from 2017. And each one of these sessions are offered for just $5 and they include written summaries of all the ideas presented. Uh, we also have many free recorded webinars within our ACC online catalog. The easiest way to access them is to go to the ACC University online page, click on webinars, and then just scroll through and click on the icon for any recorded webinar of interest. All recorded webinars are included with your membership, so there's no additional fee for you or anyone in your chamber. They usually are about an hour long, 45 minutes to an hour long where presentation materials have been made available to us, and that's most of the webinars, we've posted them right there on the webinar page and you can just go ahead and download them for free. We've done a number of new webinars over the past several months, including webinars on leadership development programs, a chamber, US Chamber accreditation, education and workforce development, divergent leadership, customer care, and much more. We will also be doing additional live webinars throughout the year, uh, along with conference call roundtable discussions. To access all currently scheduled webinars, start again on the professional development page, hover over events, and then click on upcoming webinars. Our next webinar will be next week, and it will be on the topic of strategic planning and funding for talent development. It's scheduled for Thursday, January 25th at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And you can find it right there on that webinar page. If you want a longer term schedule, um, ACC sends out a regular weekly e-blast every Monday. And that includes, in addition to lots of other great information, it, it includes links to upcoming webinars along with individual, and there's also individual e-blasts announcing individual webinars. So there's many ways to get information on our webinars. Uh, in, in all of these e-blasts, you can click on the registration links to register for them. There is no charge to participate in any ACC webinar. You will generally need to register beforehand, just like you did for this webinar. And to do that, you'll need your ACC membership ID number. So I'm gonna switch gears now and talk about our in-person training. Um, in addition to our, our online offerings, we have several major in-person training sessions each year. Our biggest one, of course, is our annual convention. That's held every summer. And our next convention will take place from July 17th through 20th in Des Moines. We have saved the date information on our website and you can access it right from our homepage by clicking on that large scrolling tile. Um, and note that you can already book your hotel room for one of the convention hotels right from that convention page. Uh, the hotel block cutoff date is June 26th and we expect to open convention registration early in March. And we'll continue to update that convention page as we get more information. Uh, in the meantime, uh, note that you can get handouts from our 2017, 2016, and 2015 conventions by clicking on professional development, hovering over annual convention, and then clicking on the convention resources page for the various conventions you'll see right there. Then, uh, once you've clicked on a particular convention, you scroll down the list to find the sessions provided and where available. Uh, we have provided, we posted handouts from many of the convention workshops and sessions are complimentary with your membership. So go ahead and take a look. Uh, so before convention though, we have another in popular train, a popular in-person training session and it's coming up in a few months. Our annual sales training conference will take place this year on March 13th to 14th in beautiful, historic Charleston, South Carolina. The conference will feature speakers on a variety of sales and membership topics suitable for both new and seasoned membership representatives. To learn more, go to our homepage and then scroll to the sales training conference box. Uh, you can click on that box to find out more about registering uh, and booking a hotel room and information on our overall schedule. A full schedule with all speakers and sessions will be available by the end of January, so please check back to that page. Um, as I said, you can register for the sales conference right from the page, and early bird registration will end on February 16th. Um, and you can book your hotel room there, and uh, the block extends until February 12th, um, or whenever the hotel rooms are full, whichever is sooner. 
And again, to register for the sales conference, you'll need your ACCE member ID and login information. So for more information on the sales conference, please get in touch with me. Um, my email address is smcguire, S-M-C-G-U-I-R-E at acce.org. Um, so we're, while we're talking about sales and membership development, I am going to take a little detour to mention the many opportunities we have here for education and networking for membership development professionals. The starting place for this learning is our Membership Development Division page, which you can get to by clicking on Networks, hovering over Divisions, and then clicking on Membership Development Division. On this page, you'll see links to our Chamberpedia, or Information Office, pages on membership topics. And we have links to recorded webinars on membership topics as well. Uh, you can also download um, copies of selected sales training conference handouts from past year's sales trainings. Uh, you can listen to recorded membership roundtable calls and much more. Uh, you can join our active membership sales LinkedIn group from that page um, also. Uh, if you're a member of MDD, uh, Membership Development Division, you'll get the e-newsletters, which come out about eight to ten times a year. Um, you'll get e-blasts when we schedule webinars or roundtable discussions for membership professionals. Uh, to join the MDD, click on divisions at acce.org or update your profile online to add MDD to your profile by clicking on Update Your Profile Status Online. You'll need your ACC username and password to access the, that page. Um, you can also, to join MDD, you can also just email me at, um, and I will be happy to get you signed up. Um, from the MDD page, you can also access information about the Circle of Champions program. The Circle of Champions is part of the MDD and sponsors two recognition programs for chamber sales professionals, our annual sales contest and our Lifetime Sales Achievement Award program. You can find out more information about both by clicking where indicated on the Circle of Champions page. To join the Circle of Champions, click on Enroll Your Sales Team Today and fill out the online form. That form will make its way to me and I will get you signed up. If you have any questions about the Circle of Champions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Um, next, I want to show you quickly about how to get information on our awards, our many prestigious awards that are um, presented um, at our annual convention. To do that, click on Professional Development, hover over Awards, and then you'll see the major categories of awards that are given out each year right there. If you click on any of those award links, you'll find out more information about award requirements, due dates, and the contact people at ACCE who can provide more information. Um, note that we will be holding a webinar on one of our major awards, the Chamber of, Ye of the Year Award, on Tuesday, January 30th at 2 p.m. East Coast time. You can register for that webinar by going to our events page, and you'll see it right there. Um, click on that uh, webinar page, and then click on the registration link. Um, so, okay, so now I'm going to talk a little bit about our CCE program, our Certified Chamber Executive program. The CCE is the only national certification for chamber professionals. It's available to chamber professionals who have six or more years of senior level management experience and are currently in a senior level chamber position. To find information about the CCE program, click on Professional Development and then on CCE. This section of the website contains information on timeline, eligibility requirements, the application, resources, and much more. It's also worth noting that one of the requirements for the CCE is that you've accumulated over the course of your chamber career a certain number of professional development points through education, networking, leadership roles, and so on. And you can acquire those points for every webinar or e-course you participate in, for attending convention, for or attending sales training, and you get even more points for facilitating or presenting a webinar or at one of our conferences. So you're working towards getting your CCE when you participate in any of the professional development opportunities we offer here at ACCE. Uh, please feel free to click on my name, I think it says, please contact us for more information. That's me. Um, click on my name on the CCE page. Send me an email if you have any questions. Um, we've just closed applications for the 2018 class, 
uh, but the application for our 2019 class is due January 7th, 2019, and it's never too early to start looking at information about that. I'd be more than happy to talk with you more about the program if you're interested or may be interested in the future. And just one final note about professional development at ACCE. Uh, ACCE has a job posting board that you can access from the professional development page. Um, just click, hover over Job Watch uh, and click on that link to find out more. Uh, you can also get to that Job Watch page right from the home page. There's a small tile on the home page for Job Watch. So that is uh, a quick summary of ACC University Online and our other professional development resources. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions or suggestions for professional development topics that you'd like to see us offer in the future. So Sarah, I will hand it back to you now. Thanks so much, Susan. Uh, it's exciting to see all the different webinars and uh, conferences and convention. Um, one thing I want to just point out, if anybody had a question on uh, getting your ACCE member ID, you can find that under the My Membership area when you log in. And then it's actually under, uh, I believe it's under Change My Username and Password. You can also access it from your uh, this link here, update my personal information, and that's where your other contact information lives, including your ACCE ID. So just a quick note about that, and then I'm going to head over to the information section, which is also known as HERO, Help Expertise Resources Online, and this is the area that really you can use the resources here to save your, your time by not reinventing the wheel. So we're going to go over the different resources here within HERO, and um, Health Expertise Resources Online really has about uh, four main areas that you have probably encountered or heard of. So Chamberpedia is the online encyclopedia um, that really makes up Chamber resource pages. Um, it's by topic and includes topics on strategic planning as well as um, anything from marketing and communications to membership events and programs. If you need an idea, you can come to the Chamberpedia pages to really create and develop your own um, resources for chamber models, best practices, and, and all kinds of guides and articles. The Chamberpedia page is like a one-stop shop where you can go to access um, everything that ACCE offers and research that we've collected on the variety of topics. Another area within HERO is called Samples. That's the Samples Library. Um, this is a very popular part of ACCE's resources for members. It's really grown and driven by you all, by your, um, your sharing and your resources that you provide to us. It's over 4,000 working documents, and this is the area that truly helps you uh, save time and not reinvent the wheel. So, Lots of working documents from chambers just like you. Um, there are examples in here on board member agreements, position descriptions, marketing plans, annual reports, strategic plans, and so much more, again, with over 4,000. We'll dive into this a little bit more. And then within uh, another area within the information or the HERO portal is Ask ACCE, which I mentioned a couple times earlier. That's really our virtual reference desk, and it is staffed by research librarians, and you can expect a reply within 24 to 48 hours. Um, we have a phone number as well as our email, and then a live chat inside Dynamic Chamber Benchmarking. So the other area within the information or HERO portal is dynamic chamber benchmarking, and that is the area you can access industry trends and benchmark with peers through the operation survey and salary survey data. So it's a platform that's uh, free and available to ACCE members. It, you can access it 24-7. So I'll dive into that also in a tiny bit. Um, so we do have the samples library. I'm just going to show you this um, section and demonstrate a couple of different searches that you can use. Some of the resources within the samples library include uh, membership brochures, um, all kinds of auditing information, bylaws, um, your budgets, budget examples by local initiatives, um, numerous case studies, uh, to job descriptions, which are called position descriptions within here, um, different programs of work, political action committee information, all kinds of policy and manual like human resources or employee manuals, 
and so much more. So um, I'm going to just demonstrate one search here. We're going to go through social media. So you can start with a broad category topic here. Click go and you can see everything that we have within the uh, samples library. So you can start with a broad search um, and then you can narrow your results down by keyword or by revenue size or by a community group, a community peer group, such as other cities, major cities, emerging cities, and so forth. So if we want to see some different social media campaigns um, that use Twitter, we can just add in the keyword search for Twitter and see a set of results within uh, the samples library. The nice part about the samples library is that it's truly a gallery. So you can see um, award-winning gallery uh, pieces. So this, this one from the San Diego Regional Chamber um, received an awards for communication excellence in 2016. And then this one from the Southwest Indiana Chamber was a Chamber of the Year winner from 2015. And so that was part of their synopsis. Um, you can also, with Samples Library, you can dive into the actual piece and then see a summary, the title, the information about the chamber, and then here's the link to actually download it. And many of the samples are in PDF, some are Word, some are Excel, some are JPEGs, and some are videos. So that gives you an opportunity to really adapt and adopt these different pieces for your own chamber. As you can see, there's numerous ways that you can search. Um, you can always use Ask ACCE to help um, ask for help in doing a uh, search on the samples library. And you can also use the Ask ACCE area to submit your own sample. So if you had something, a piece that you're really proud of, a communications piece, for example, that was a major hit with your members or your community, we'd love to have that and grow that into the samples library. So you can always send it on to hero, H-E-R-O, at acce.org. Next, I want to take you over into a deeper dive in Chamberpedia. And again, this is that one-stop shop encyclopedia of chamber re uh, resources. We're going to just do a overview in the membership management section, Chamberpedia membership management section. Uh, Susan talked a lot about the membership development division, and this definitely ties into that area. But even if you're not within the division, membership development division, you can use all of the different uh, topics, topic resource pages here. So you can see numerous pages. We're going to look at um, the retention page. This is uh, one of your commonly asked areas, frequently asked um, areas for information and examples and best practices on membership retention. So within each of these resource pages, um, you will see how they're organized. Um, sometimes we cross-link to other related Chamberpedia pages for more, discover more. Um, but Chamberpedia pages will include research, um, especially if it comes from the operations survey, like the membership statistics, which includes membership retention, or the full operations survey. That, these are links that take you right into dynamic chamber benchmarking. Um, and then there are other research reports that are included, if it came from an outside source, or if it was a quick poll, or a white paper case study, and so forth. So we include research on Chamberpedia pages, as well as samples. Um, programs in action from chambers across the country, um, and then also samples, in this case for retention, sample policies, plans, and more. And we link out so you can see all the retention examples within ACCE Samples Library. So this is a nice way to see some of the highlights, but also then go do some individual exploration and discovery within the Samples Library. So this page, again, is fairly extensive. Um, so it also includes sample renewal and dropped member letters. You could see more renewal notices within the samples library, more member outreach examples in the library, and then see some of the highlighted ones like dropped member letter um, and so forth, renewal letters. And scrolling down, we also have information on member surveys and then a link out to another member surveys Chamberpedia page with even more examples. So we're really tying in all the resources here. Um, and then we go into articles and blog postings. That's within um, every Chamberpedia page also includes a number of different articles, whether it's from um, a Chamber or State Association or within our own Chamber Executive Magazine uh, 
published by ACCE or sometimes over into associations now or other uh, sources. So it might also be blogs and, and others. Um, we have other resources here um, in addition from Kathy Height and her website. Um, so we scroll down to that. We also have books and ebooks listed out on many of our Chamberpedia pages, as well as convention and seminar resources from the past conventions. And scrolling even further, we also have videos, webinars, and ACCE University resources. So Susan went through and described how to access webinars on, on their own um, through the webinar catalog and the e-course catalog. But then again, we tie those resources right into Chamberpedia as that one-stop shop. Um, and then we also link out to additional related Chamberpedia pages. You can also suggest a page edit right here from this link and it takes you to a form that you can suggest uh, content or you can just email us using Ask ACCE and Contacting Hero. So a couple of other new resources within Chamberpedia that I just wanted to highlight um, include our um, education workforce development pages. Those have been up, um, constantly updated and um, again that's uh, very closely tied to our education attainment division. Um, some of our newer pages are after school STEM, character and soft skills development, and then our health and wellness resources, as well as criminal justice reform. Um, a couple of other uh, new pages or pages that have been updated recently include our board management pages, which all fall under governance and leadership under Chamberpedia. And, um, so those have been updated. We have um, are in the process of more thoroughly updating the alliances, mergers, and partnerships page as well. But then you can see all of the different board-related uh, Chamberpedia pages here. Um, you can also, you can see how the overarching topics of Chamberpedia are, and they each have numerous individual uh, topic pages, but you could also use our, our site search. Um, I'm going to do one for networking um, icebreakers. This is a popular page for different networking ideas. Uh, click on that. I've searched on this before, <laughs> and it will show up right in our Chamberpedia results in our um, site search. And a quick note about our site search is um, that you can search by our modules within our website. So we have Chamberpedia results here. We could um, access that networking icebreakers page right here, um, again, with more examples and samples and ideas all built in that Chamberpedia page and links. The links are all in red. Um, and then same thing back here on our site search. I just want to point out, so it's Chamberpedia pages and then it goes into samples results. And then furthermore, web pages throughout the ACCE website, which might include some of our division pages, our network pages, um, and other resources, as well as the blog results are searched. So if there was something on uh, networking icebreakers, then that these are the blog results. ACCE has had their blog for a very long time, um, so that's kind of like an archive, essentially. Um, as we learned at the beginning, you can use the ACCE um, website homepage to see updated blog, the most current blog postings, which are also posted on ACCE's Facebook page. Um, so just like with the samples library, we are constantly updating Chamberpedia, and we want to hear from you. So anytime you have a suggestion, um, whether it's a new topic, a new resource, um, a new article, we'd love to hear from you. Again, you can use Ask ACCE to reach us. So as I promised a bit ago, um, you can also use uh, the information portal to access dynamic chamber benchmarking. And what this really is, is the um, operations and salary surveys rolled into one platform. And we have more information here. You can use our working with dynamic chamber benchmarking page to view additional information about the steps to get started, as well as our tip guides, our quick start guide, and a data collection worksheet. So once you have um, access to dynamic chamber benchmarking, you log in with your ACCE login. Um, the system is smart. It knows that you are who you are and what your chamber is. Um, once you log in, this is a splash screen with information about um, using dynamic chamber benchmarking, but it knows my name and my chamber. I'm in the demo account here. You can see the operations survey and salary survey. Um, if you have used dynamic chamber benchmarking in the past, you will see that we have re 
refined the system a little bit and gone down to two sections. Um, so the important pieces that you can use dynamic chamber benchmarking for are really the power of the reports and the question comparisons of data. Um, our chamber members use this for board reports, staff retreats and staff planning, setting goals, benchmarking, strategic planning, and many, many more purposes. Annual reports is another really popular um, way to use dynamic chamber benchmarking data. Uh, all the data, the reports are all free to chambers that complete 50% or more of the survey questions. So your data um, unlocks free access to data comparisons on screen and, and includes custom reports to download, such as the operations survey, the trends reports, which show you data compared to um, from 2012 to 2016, as well as membership stats and the chamber report card. Um, so one of the questions we often get is, um, you'll see with 2017, the system is defaulting here. Um, if you want a 2017 report, uh, the fastest way to get that is to um, answer the survey questions for fiscal year 2017. And we are in critical um, mass collection right now. So we're asking all chambers to participate in the 2017 surveys. And as soon as we reach that critical mass, um, we'll be able to unre uh, to release the reports and data comparisons we're aiming for early spring. So think March, think spring um, for the 2017 reports. However, if you need a report now, you can definitely use uh, fiscal year 2016. And again, you just need to participate in 50% of more of the questions, and then you can download a variety of the different reports. Um, Dynamic Chamber Benchmarking is free to ACCE members. Again, you um, log in with your ACCE username and password. Um, there are no deadlines except if you are thinking about planning on applying for Chamber of the Year for 2018, then you do need to answer the survey questions by March 1st in order to be eligible to apply. And the other, um, what we call soft deadline, is the Membership Achievement Awards. And Susan had talked about that as uh, part of our um, professional development section here under awards. Um, so you can find out more about those individual words there. But with the membership achievement recognition, uh, the participation deadline is March 23rd. Um, I'm going to pull up one sample report just to give you an example of the kinds of data you can pull from here. Um, you can filter your, your chamber um, and do some very nice peer comparisons or true benchmarking um, using the filter options up here. Um, so when I have no filter set, but the important part that you can use is the power of these uh, filters. And we have some filter tip guides to help walk you through, or you can use our chat and um, or um, set up an individual meeting time or appointment with the HERO team. And we're happy to help walk you through um, report creation and finding the best benchmarking partners for your comparison. Um, here is that sample report for the key performance indicators chamber report card, and you can see the kinds of data that you can pull out. This is a really nice, plain, uh, simple, straightforward one-page report on staffing, membership, including retention, um, and then finance details, including revenue and expenses. So again, uh, you can use these reports. They're truly customized to your chamber. They are Word on um, Office products, so PowerPoint and Microsoft Word, meaning that you can edit these and make them truly your own documents, truly customized. Um, so this, the live chat is available Monday through Friday um, during normal office hours. And then we also have a support section up here. You can access that quick start guide, data collection worksheet, as well as questions to more frequently asked questions. Um, and then, or answers to frequently asked questions. And then you can also find more information under information and then dynamic chamber benchmarking section and that working with dynamic chamber benchmarking page. So um, we're gonna move on to a few more areas before we conclude this webinar. And I'm gonna just show you a few additional resources that you can get to the information portal. Um, you can access the magazine um, ACCE's Chamber Executive Magazine. You can do an article archive search um, that goes back many years. You can see our issue archive as well as our current issue. And so our latest one is um, uh, the fall 2017 and the winter issue is 
um, very soon coming out. You can always get that from our current issue right here. Um, it is full text and online. The other areas that you can get under information include, um, again, blogs, as well as um, more resources here. You can view the Horizon Initiative, the Chambers 2020, uh, 2025, as well as quick polls, membership statistics, reports and white papers, and toolkits, as well as our facts, which is frequently asked questions um, that are real life questions from you all. So the other area I do want to show you is um, our fringe benefits. And again, uh, if you have any questions on the information section, you can always reach out using Ask ACCE. Um, so on to fringe benefits, I want to give you a little bit of information here. This is um, ACCE's retirement insurance plans, including a 401k profit sharing plan, a deferred compensation plan, as well as a plan called the Mighty Mini Plan, um, designed for organizations with five or fewer chamber employees. Um, there are group insurance plans that include life, disability, dental, vision, travel insurance, as well as telemedicine. Um, an added benefit uh, to some of these plans, um, when you have access to these plans, is Think HR, which is a, a free and um, uh, direct access to HR experts that you can email. And this also has a large HR library, similar to ACCE samples library, but with very specific HR resources. Again, Think HR is available to, uh, to members that have the 401k or any of the other insurance plans that are available through fringe benefits. Um, if you have questions about the fringe benefits and um, want to get more information, you can reach out to Stacy Breslin, and here is her contact information. So you've just learned uh, about a wide array of ACCE's resources and benefits and different kinds of offerings, networking, and professional development. Um, we have a little bit of time for questions, and so um, what we will do is read those questions aloud and answer as we can. If we don't get to your question um, today, we'll definitely reply by email. And as a reminder, today's webinar was recorded, and it will be available under professional development and then ACCE University, and then you can view our latest e-tour here. Um, that will be available um, within the next few days. So now we'll take questions. Okay. Um, do we have any questions? Susan, I'll see if it looks like... Hey, Sarah, uh, anyone I don't have... like we have any okay. questions. Great. Any comments? We're, we're always open to questions and comments. <laughs> and if you think of something after we uh, log off, again, please don't hesitate to contact Sarah or myself or uh, any other ACC team member. We'd be happy to help. I know there's lots of information presented. Lots to take in. And one <laughs> One other just of clarification, I wanted to show you the membership directory and the member emblem. Um, we do get questions on how to access that. So that's under ACCE's About section, Membership, and then here's the member directory. So you can use this to search your fellow ACCE members. And then let's just go back and you can also use that About and then Membership and you can download ACCE's member emblem for 2018. So you can download, download that and use that on your, AC, your uh, Chambers website or uh, marketing collateral. So any other questions? I think that may be... Um, Sarah, we have... Um, yeah. Is there a way to find the number of members that a chamber has? I guess an individual chamber. That's a good question. Um, you can find under networks, let's see here, and under some of the community peer groups under the rosters, if we have that information available, you can, um, again, view the individuals within some of the community peer groups and see the chamber uh, name and their staff and their uh, membership size. Um, you can also use dynamic chamber benchmarking 
to compare your chamber's results to similar sized uh, chambers with their, their number of members. Um, and we can always help you create a custom peer group, a peer benchmarking group, by looking at um, our information behind the scenes and then create a peer group of similar size membership chambers. Uh, and so happy to follow up with you or um, for the asker, you can email me at hero, H-E-R-O at acce.org or hop into Dynamic Chamber Benchmarking and use the chat and happy to um, help with that follow up. Okay. There is another question um, asking for any information that we have about our annual, I guess our annual convention. And we are actually um, just in the process of planning that. We just had our, our call for speakers was due, I believe, the 12th. And um, so our, our ACC team is all working on speakers, workshops, breakout sessions, other types of sessions on all all areas, all uh, job types and areas, education and workforce development, membership, communications, government relations, and so on. So we are planning a way and more information will be available very shortly. Um, we had a meeting this morning, Sarah, do you know, do you remember what they said about when things would be sent out? I don't, I don't remember. Yeah. But I think we can expect the spring, um, or the spring and then beyond. So um, you can always ask us. Yeah, I would check this page and contact us because things will be, this is the page that will be filled out eventually um, with uh, our speakers, our sessions, and, and much, much more well in advance of, uh, of the convention. So uh, sorry, I can't can provide that. E Stay tuned. <laughs> It's going to be Stay tuned. <laughs> and you can also use the email here if you'd like information um, on the annual convention events at acce.org. Okay. I think that's it. Great. Wonderful. Everybody, thank you so much for joining us. Um, we appreciate your membership with ACCE. We appreciate all that you contribute and share and how valuable you are with networking. And um, I know I've talked with many of you and I appreciate all the times that you have shared AC with um, ACCE, your Chamber's examples to help us build out best practices and um, uh, expand our samples library as well as Chamberpedia. So my thanks to all of you. Um, and with that, uh, Susan, any concluding notes? No, just uh, again, adding my thank you for your participation. We look forward to working with you and, and, and meeting you at some of our conferences or meeting you um, virtually through more webinars, roundtable calls. Please don't hesitate to contact Sarah or myself or any other ACCE team member if we can help. And have a great afternoon. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.